Hey there, this is one up Indie here once again with another video and today we're gonna do hexagonal shapes, so B cell shapes if you wanna see it like this. This thing is just not mathematical, it does actually appear in nature and of course it's pretty cool because you got no room in between and tons of uh, strategy games actually use and abuse this kind of system because it looks kind of neat and hey, why not? So if you want to join me on this small little journey of just, you know, displaying that on the screen, so basically just drawing it, then stick around. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing and hearing, then why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing to the channel? Of course. Alrighty, to put that into perspective and uh, how the whole thing is, no worries, the whole code will be uh, in the description below if you just want to skip it and be a little bit lazy but here just for understanding if you want to actually understand what's actually going on so let's say you got one thing and then the other thing just snaps to the other one and that means you can just take the whole width with it and this is actually displayed by the first part here and the uh, well the algorithm here but of course um, it comes with some caveats because there's actually a second part so what's up with that well so let's say um, you want to have the second one here and it should be actually here if you just look at this huh? huh? What's actually going on? Well, we need just half of the width for the next time and therefore we just add a variable which I call uh, vertical add and then horizontal add. These are just values which are just getting updated. So for horizontal like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and from vertical also 1, 2, 3, and we just loop through them and they're just getting updated and then uh, i don't know you just like choo, choo, adding more and more and more stuff on the screen this is what it actually does so um, don't be confused about that so here the first part is just for a regular you know shape uh, distance horizontally and the second part is actually for the bottom ones just to do it like this and then snap it half of the way upwards and then of course we need to have kind of uh, cell size which is then for the horizontal pretty easy so it's just the same uh, you know the same width which is pretty practical so we just uh, wow so we just uh, <laughs> have to do that uh, vertically but horizontally it comes with a little issue because we cannot use the uh, for the vertical the same you know the, 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 the total height of it that would look kind of silly so let's say we would just do it like this eh, it needs to be like this so you're thinking like ah it should be half it is not half so let's say if we just take half of it half would be something here actually let's put that on top because you cannot see mm, still not working so here you need like more or less two thirds and then you are uh, in the correct height so here cell x is the whole width of one cell and then cell y is two-thirds of the height of one of those hexagonal sh uh, cells this is pretty much it and this is how we keep on stacking those hexagonals and of course if you want to have some padding in between so like empty space area or whatever then uh, just make those values a little bit higher. This is basically what we're going to do in Game Maker. So for that, let's actually get rid of this kind of easy setup. So we get our room and that we, wow, make this bigger. Just have one instance. I just call it object spawn all, drag that into the room. And this dude will be spawning these instances. It's empty. It just has the sprite attached to it. Later on, you can just swap it to wherever you like. And that's it and just for context so the width is 120 i just make it a little bit higher so we get some padding in between each cells horizontally and vertically this has a height of 140 but my cell size is for horizontal is 124 so plus four and here kind of two thirds of 140 of well the total height here just to understand the well, proportions of the cells which you were going, uh, you know, and stacking. For that, we just have a repeat loop. I love repeat loops. 
So here, um, I don't know, for, for example, this is then for the vertical repeating. We just say like, uh, well, I don't know, just do it eight times. And then once a repeat loop is done, we are adding one to the vertical add. So here, plus, plus, that just means, you know, we're just um, incrementing it. This is, this is basically the whole thing. We're just incrementing it vertically, but of course we want to do that horizontally also. And uh, well, Oh, let's go with this 10 so it actually looks kind of nicer and then what do we do we just spawn an instance so instance create create layer and then choo -choo -choo. on the start position of this dude here and the same layer and then we just spawning uh, no, uh, our hexagonal and for now we would be creating kind a lot of uh, guys on the same spot which is kind of pointless so therefore we have uh, some x x position which we're gonna add for now just say it's zero and say for the y y also zero and we just add it to the x position and here we just add it to the y position and now we need to well say like hey i want to have one after another after another how do i do this well because i am also each time a uh, horizontal loop is done here so here we just say plus plus so it means like here we are repeating horizontally Duh -duh. once we are done with one loop we are just adding and then the next cell can go a little bit more to the right a little bit more to the right and then until we are finished with 10 times and then we say like sweet and then we say like okay let's uh, um, increment our vertical so we're just going one uh, cell downwards and then once again we are repeating 10 times this loop and then once we are done here once again then as you can see a lot of loops uh, and just you know going horizontally first and then once we are finished with horizontally add it up one and then going vertically this is what the double loop is actually doing that's pretty much it so for that we can just say like hey because we are each time adding this value we can say like, hey, we want it to be, you know, um, times our cell X. And then if you're just saying like, okay, so cell X is then the width of one cell, yes. And this one is getting bigger. That means we are just pushing the dude to the right side, which is pretty good. So for example, once we start it, you will see this. This is nice. This is definitely what we want. But of course, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But we just said 10 and then it's just going for infinity to the right side not optimal so how do we circumvent that well we just nullify it so let's say we are we did this 10 times to the right then we finished our loop and then we just say like hey nullify it and then well it would work and the point is it does work but here now we need to go and create something similar so we just say like hey our vertical add and our cell height and then it could almost work but almost as you can see this does work for rectangles but here we need to squeeze into the to the right position of there so how do we do this well we just say like plus our vertical add times our cell but of course not fully but just half so we squeeze in half additionally and then for example once we start it it does look already pretty much better but then <laughs> we get this issue that we're just you know pushing everything uh, each time one stack to the right so for that i have two more variables just to correct this so they're just correctional things and then we just say like hey once we nullify it we just need to push it one time to the left then we just add a stack this won't be working not entirely because we're pushing everything to the left also not our optimal so therefore we just need to do it every second time so how do we do this with another variable which are increment and then we just saying like hey once we increment it to two so it's once it's has a value of two we just reset it to zero and then 
we add a stack and now this will work beautifully and that's pretty much it the whole code that's it as you can see did it did it did it perfect almost perfect well <laughs> it does uh, look good enough for me and therefore this is how you can do your hexagonal um well cells and this is pretty much the whole code so once again add uh, horizontally just the the width of the thing but of course mm, additionally add uh depending what kind of um a vertical add so basically this this value times half and so we can just you know push it a little bit more to the right so with half as well each time but of course to correct it we need to you know get rid of the completely pushing to the right of the uh well the whole lines and therefore we just have a little bit of correction here and then we're just adding um well our not cell height so not of the full thing but just roughly two thirds and then that's pretty much it. This is how that works. Hopefully a more or less comprehensive guide how to do this. Once again, link in description below, you will have the whole code. There will be a follow-up video, but not tomorrow, definitely not, um, how to move or just how to uh, change the cells, but that is more easy peasy than this beast here. Alrighty, that was it from my side. Have a good one. One up indeed.